Hey guys, welcome to Party of Two. My name is Kaz, and today we're going to make south, uh, chili Southwest egg rolls. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, we are, oh, there's Bama. Let's let her in. Putting me to work, are you? Yeah, how are you doing? Well, I'm super. So, how are you? I went back to the old setup. Yeah, because it's you're on the other side of the table now. That's right. Oh, <laughs> oh, was I was I inverted? Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, I'm gonna start prepping my veggies for for this. You've seen the uh, 10 second cooking school, right? I have. I have used that method the very day I watched it. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's right. You said you didn't think it was going to work, right? And it did. <laughs> I'm trying to plug my charger in. Hang on. Okay. I don't want to lose myself here. Here we go. See? Look at that, y'all. Hi, Fox. Hey, going ben. Wild. Hey, ben. How you doing, girl? So I'm not because I'm only um, cooking for myself. I'm not going to use this entirely. Uh, right. Bell pepper. So I'm only going to use about half of it, and the other half is just going to go in a uh, baggie in the fridge. Now, see, that would already be chopped if you had one of those Mueller choppers like I got. Man, That's I cool. love it. I love it. You're sick. Foxcomb Wild said she's sick. Oh my gosh. So she was sick like two weeks ago, too. I know. See, Trish is even still sick. I know. Whatever's going around is uh, it's pretty bad and, it's bad and it's like undiagnosed, right? Yes, yes. And, and it has weird symptoms like scratchy itchy eyes and um skin and what have you it's it's really weird as a matter of fact you had you had a rash that was kind of unexplained too didn't you i did yeah all right so that's enough, enough of this this is going to go into a uh, plastic baggie i got to do that now otherwise i'll forget so why don't you tell them about food talk tv Okay, guys, this is Food Talk TV, and it's spelled just like it is in the upper left-hand corner. On all our venues, we are on just about every social media ever except Tinder. But anyway, um, that's Kaz's <laughs> fault. He just says no. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, but we're on all the social medias. We're on, we have a website called foodtalktv.com. If I talk about that more than anything else, that's where you'll find our recipes, how to sign up <clears throat> for Grub Match, which is another story. But if you want to sign up for Grub Match and battle off with Sketchy in the Kitchen, you can sign up there if you have a thousand followers, if you have food content. And she says, tell your friends and tell your friends who cook, but don't tell your friends that don't cook. So, um, go there and find the details on that. You can find out all about our creators and what they're up to and whatever. And uh, also up here in the upper left corner here on Food Talk TV on TikTok, follow us there and you'll get a notification if you'll set it. Hi. Um, to every time we go live. And as a matter of fact, we go live every day. It's not me particularly. I do some but Kaz goes once a week and Sketchy goes twice a week and some of us go more than others and but we're here we're here every day right here so sometime during the day so if you want to be a, a, a potential contestant or creator go check out foodtalktv.com so follow please follow I want to know okay. From people who are in the uh, in the comments, have you guys ever had a Chili's Southwest egg roll? Has anybody ever had one of those? I have. I have. Let 
Let me see if they have. They're not answering yet. They're, you know, it's a little delay. No, said Chef Winky Cooks. Yes, said Marty. Uh, so we've got half and half so far. Well, no, no. And I've said yes and yes. And um, okay. So it's about half and half so far. But okay. listen, Chili's Restaurant, C H I L I, it's a restaurant. Are you not in the United States, Fox Snow Wild? <laughs> I thought everybody knew chilies. <laughs> I thought so too. But I guess not. Well Kaz is gonna Kaz is gonna reproduce their egg roll and people. It is so good. And I can tell you guys, okay, I used to work at Chili's. Uh the uh the people who work there don't know how to make these because they come in frozen bags <laughs> okay they just kind oh, of frozen you're bags. making a fresh version yes uh yeah. one day uh i took home one of the one of the labels off the off the boxes that they came in and i looked at all the ingredients my wife my late wife uh and said that she had tried to make them before but they, there was just something wrong with them. And this was back in 2012, 2013. Uh, so uh, I had her make them and I said, no, this is definitely wrong. Uh, we looked at everything. And it's, you know, the, when you look at ingredients, it doesn't tell you how to make anything, right? All it does is just give you a bunch of ingredients uh, by, by weight normally. Well, the first ingredient in the Southwest chili rolls was flour. And I'm like, okay, well, so where's the flour go? And eventually said, okay, this is what's wrong with all the recipes that are out there. They're using egg roll wrappers. It's a Southwest chili, uh, Southwest egg roll. It's, it's a burrito. So that's, that's all it is. It's a burrito that's shaped like an egg roll. And cut at the best angle ever. Yes. That angle <laughs> makes all the difference. That angle makes it all the does. difference. If you don't cut it right, you're not doing it right. <clears throat> now, now I'm, uh, I'm putting chicken in my egg rolls. Um, and normally you would probably use ground chicken. I didn't, I couldn't find any ground chicken. So. I've got some I chicken buy tender. I buy it. Every time I see it, I buy it. I know. Why, why is it not a consistent thing? That doesn't make any sense. Know. I don't know. All right. Sketchy doesn't like chilies. Um, and Marty says she's had these ten, about 10 years ago. It's been a while. And uh, Fox Gun Wild said, I've never heard of chilies and I'm from North Carolina. Crazy, right? Uh and then we've got people saying you have to wash your chicken. Some saying, no, you don't because it causes more bacteria. I'm going to say this. This man right up there cooking is a trained chef. So he knows what to do. I'm just going to trust him and let him do his thing. Thank you. But thank you guys for all your suggestions. And I'm never going to tell you what to do in your own kitchen. Oops. Did I say you were? Oops. I mean, he's a pretty good cook. That's what I meant. <laughs> Oops, I almost messed up, man. <laughs> almost, almost. I almost messed up. That's Wash that's your that. cheese. No, I cut my cheese. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> oh, no, I washed the, the shredded oh, guy. Guys. Whatever, guys. <laughs> but, but when I cut my own, I, yeah. Y'all are mean. There's some mean <laughs> cooks out there. Did you know it? <laughs> there are some mean cooks out there. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, so this is the, uh, I went ahead and put a little green pepper in there. I thought, I I bought two jalapenos last night, just so I could put a jalapeno in this. And I was going to give you guys a, a little lesson on how to core jalapenos. But I couldn't find it, and I still need the green, I still need the green. So I cut up just a little bit of um, uh, green bell pepper. So there's my minced chicken and we're going to go ahead all right SN21 wants to know if you're going to make a sauce to go with that 
<laughs> I am gonna make a sauce. Aaron. And, and I, I wanna uh, I wanna thank SN21 because he or she is the person that reminded me that I was supposed to do this today. So thank you. Who did? SN21. Whoever that oh, is. Okay, yes. Okay. And yes. Fox Gone Wild said, Who doesn't love cats? Oh, thank you. Well, and wait, Lorraine, somebody actually might answer. So let's let's just uh, uh Lorraine. Uh, Lorianne, my bad. Flores said, "Eat something sweet and be nice." He's teaching him. Teaching, let him, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I'm and again, I'm only making enough for uh, for two people. The show is called Party of Two Guys. Right. Yes. Some um, uh, Maripu, I did say, wash your shredded cheese. It has a powdery substance on it. If you'll rinse it, it will melt so much better if you don't have time to shred your own. I did a whole TikTok about it and got blasted. Okay, these are, these <laughs> are black beans. Hi, Moses. And there's about a, I put about a quarter of a cup of black beans in there. And then we've got some corn. Moses. Hi, Jason. Hey, How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Boy, this is already colorful and you ain't even cooked it yet. You know, that's that's the thing is, um, <coughs> is when you cut, they cut that these um, egg rolls open up at a, such an extreme angle so that you can see how colorful they are inside. So if you don't have the yeah. colors, uh, it's an, another thing, you're just not doing it right. Okay. All right, so you can just put it all in the skillet at the same time. Yes, it's, it's all going to cook up all at the nice. same time. Nice. And we need, this some is so nice. In here. we need some seasoning. Uh, you can use a package of uh, taco seasoning if you want. Uh, but uh, Sketchy, Sketchy Chef has said that. Um, that's just lazy. So, okay. So, well, we want to honor her wishes. So, that's right. So, all right. So, wait a minute. So, now it's uh, the writing is in the middle of the food. Are you? Well, that's okay. I'm going to do it up here. I'm going to do it all. Oh, up here. okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do it all up here. So. Okay. So, we're going to start off with a little Cuban. Cuban what? Cuban. Human. Oh, cumin. Okay. I was like, cumin. Okay. Cumin. <laughs> okay. Well, can you, a little cumin. Let yeah. me clean out my ears just a little uh, here. Maybe. Okay. Some onion powder. About half a teaspoon of onion powder. Y'all better be writing this down. Or go watch this in a live. It'll go up on uh, YouTube in tomorrow or the next day, and you can watch it again. Or get the recipe off foodtalktv.com. Like and follow. Share. Share. Tap the screen. He only has 1.7 thousand likes. And I'm uh, not a member. <laughs> no, I'm telling the truth. Please. Listen to him. Y'all give him some likes. He's a This is uh, ground coriander. Coriander is the seed of, of uh, the cilantro. And apparently it's never been opened. And apparently my hands are wet, so I got to get wet. Go you gonna have to poke it with a knife or something. Yep. yep. Sometimes I have a thumbnail that'll just go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so a little brown coriander, about half a teaspoon of that as well. But they do make it in a bottle with all that already in it, right? Yes. Oh yeah, you get I'm the lazy. little packets. They cost like fifty nine cents at the store. Oh, but I'd rather buy 59 spices and do it myself. Yeah. 
<laughs> said no one ever. Hey, I don't exactly. even know what coriander is. If it's in my chili spices, then I eat it. And if not, hey, hey, hey Bradley. Chef Bradley's here. Chef Bradley, I hope you're recovering well, buddy. This is paprika. This wait, is wait, where... wait. Wait. Moses wants to know, did you say that those are the seeds to cilantro? Yes. What, what, it, coriander? Yes, ground coriander. Looky there, the chef god, you just learned something. Okay, so this, uh, this was paprika. And I'm going to put in a little chili powder, actually probably a whole teaspoon of chili powder. Everything except for the cumin is half a teaspoon, the chili powder and the, um, and the paprika is a full teaspoon. And I'm making just enough for what I need. Thanks for coming, Bradley. Yes, yeah, good to see you, Bradley. Good to see you in the house. And Dixie, I guess, because it says Mrs. Chef Bradley. Ooh, Dixie. Yeah, because she probably changed her name after I blocked her that time. <laughs> okay, so this is taco seasoning. <laughs> this is taco seasoning. Okay. And let's toss it all in there. And now I'm going to cook it up. We're going to cook this up, put it aside. Um, you know what, before I, even before I do that, let me go ahead and make some, uh, some of the sauce here. Let's just get okay. all the prep out of the way. Okay. Hey, Becky Lou, New York is here. Hey, Becky Lou. Thank you, okay. Sugar Skull. Mwah. I think that's what it is. Mwah. He is making the Southwest. He, he's doing the mock. No, it really should be the real one. Uh, chili Southwest egg roll. I'm excited because I love those. So, uh, yesterday I was looking for some of the um, uh, some of the recipes off the internet uh, that and. What they always say is to to stick toothpicks two in them after you roll them, and then freeze them for four hours so they they don't become they don't come unrolled. Well, I live alone, and when I'm hungry, I don't have any incentive to wait four hours. Okay, right. nothing. I, I don't have any incentive like that at all. So. <clears throat> I'm going to show you, we're going to make them all at the same time today. Uh, a few weeks ago, I showed you guys how to do um, uh, gumbo. And we were eating within 45 minutes. Awesome. Okay, so I got some questions. Sure. That MWA stands for makeup artist. Um, oh. uh, Pam, Pammy Pam said, thank you for your service. Uh Somebody, uh, Fox Gone Wild wants to know, do you need to be trained to be called a chef? No, you do not. Some people call themselves that. I could say I'm chef. Yes. Chef I am, but I am trained. I am trained. Uh, uh, there's so many different ways that you get called a chef. Uh, one of them is if you run a kitchen. If you run a kitchen, and you success, you can successfully run a kitchen. Then uh, you're, uh, you are the chef. Okay, uh, it's called chef de cuisine. That's the actual title, chef of the day. Well, well see, sketchy chef just kind of cleared it up. I'm a home cook, but she calls herself sketchy chef. Sketchy being the operative word there. I heard if another chef calls you chef, then you're a chef. Well, and see, that's Moses. True too. That's see, true Moses? too. Yeah. Yes. Uh, who said that? Who was in the comments Mo right now? Moses. Yes. Moses is correct. The chef God. <laughs> well, maybe that's the reason why he puts, his, uh, puts it in the name so that people will call it. 
own chef. Yeah. Yeah. See? Strategy. Strategy. You gotta be always be thinking. Moses is always thinking. Yeah. So. And made the most beautiful food last night on his life. Oh my God, yes. Mm. Yes. Man. Okay. So somebody asked if I was going to make a sauce. Normally, um, I would do this avocado uh, green sauce with uh, with crema and avocado, but I didn't have it. He so didn't have crema. So Sketchy told me that I could use sour cream, so I'm going to. Because I think crema is really close except runnier. Yes. So I'm going to have to find something to make it runnier, actually. Let's see. Chef Monkey said, yes, he does make fabulous food. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's some nice people in the audience today. I know. What happened? They're just, I don't know. I guess I just lightened up on you for a minute, and they all think it's okay to talk nice to you. I don't know what's going on. Listen, this is not really usually like that for Kaz and me, so lime juice. Yes, perfect. So this should make it, a little, make it a little runnier, right? Thank you, Chef Bradley. He says you're okay and I'm awesomeness. <laughs> but <laughs> Chef Winky says Kaz is fabulous. Well, thank you, Chef Winky. He's all okay. right because nothing's perfect, you know. Okay. And secret ingredient, a little accent. Oh, really? So I was going to ask what kind of seasoning. Is it salty a little? Mm hmm Is it salty? Uh, no, no. Accents? Uh, okay. Accent does excite the um, taste buds the same way that um, salt does, so. Listen, chef words excite the taste buds. Listen at him being all chefy today. Whew. Wow. Here we go. Okay, we need a little bit more liquid in there, but I'm not going to go for more um, for more lime juice. I'm going to just water it down a little bit. Thank you, my poo. I live in New Mexico. This is right up my alley. Mm -hmm. We love you too, Becky. We're glad you're here. Um, somebody said, I bet jalapenos would be good in that. I know. Uh, they weren't here when I said that I lost my jalapeno. I lost it. Y'all, how do you lose a jalapeno? How do you lose a jalapeno? I mean, I'm just saying. I don't know if y'all can even hear me. Okay. This is good. So this is going to go in the refrigerator. And it'll you, be nice and cool. Gonna... Yes, huh? Jeff Bradley. How do you lose a jalapeno? Exactly. <laughs> well, he couldn't know. He, how, and he, how do I lose he, a jalapeno? He never knows. He never knows. Why are we looking at your floor? He dropped his phone. He's frozen. Am I? Can y'all hear me? What are you doing? Hi, for, hi Washington, D.C. Hey, y'all. Uh-oh, he's paused the lot. Oh. No? We're back. We're back. No, I'm back. Did you lose it in your stomach? Somebody said. Oh, I doubt he ate a whole jalapeno. Um, just saying. I'm, yeah, uh, maybe it's with I'm not. I'm not that guy. Becky. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. I am not that guy. Hey, listen. Okay. Your your All phone right. was so going uh, everywhere, and Becky Lou said maybe he lost his phone with you. Paused the live, and she said maybe it's down there with his jalapeno. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, Let's do this. I'm going to need this knife again. So we're going to uh, cut this fill in here. Y'all, this is Food Talk TV. Please uh, follow us up in the upper left corner. Get notified when we go live, which we do every day. And this is Kaz. He is our um, Papa Kaz. He's the founder of this wonderful channel. If you love it, follow Kaz. Cooking with Kaz. That's him. Type in Kaz. He'll pop up. Yeah, you guys, I on my own channel, I've got something called uh, 10 Second Cooking School. And uh, later today, after I get to the stores, I'm going to post one on how to cut or how to core and seed a jalapeno. Well, maybe he can keep a hold of this one. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly, possibly, possibly. He is the dad of food talk. The dad, yes, he's the dad. It's, that's Sam, isn't it? That's Fox Gun Wild, well, right? Yes. Yes. Kaz did is the tree removal pro. Oh, how is the removal tree removal going? Oh, it's, it's thank goodness. It's a, it's done. It's done. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's what I said, Bradley. What? See that does look like the feeling of. Yeah, let's um, let's get you closer over here, so you can see what's up. Boy, you just wait till we have an after call. Boy, that's pretty. That is so pretty. I'm gonna make these calves if they're good. You're gonna tell the truth if they're good, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, oh have you made them before? Yes. Definitely. Oh, okay. He knows what he's doing, y'all. Yeah, definitely. I guess. He acts like he does. I tell you what. I told you. I worked at Chili's, okay? So, uh, even though we didn't know what was in them, uh, I could definitely taste them anytime I wanted to, to make sure. Y'all, have you ever eaten anything at a restaurant and you think to yourself, boy, if I could make this at home? See, I've started doing that a lot lately. And you know that little um, chimichanga cheesecake thing I made? A, a lady said, I work at a Mexican restaurant and I showed this to my boss and we're going to uh, start trying to make it. And I said, that's where I learned it. I, at a Mexican restaurant, I brought it home, took it apart, figured out what it was and duplicated it that's what you got to do sometimes now i put chicken in this if you don't want chicken or if you want a vegetarian uh just leave out the meat hmm. could you use hamburger yes you could i'm thinking that's as a matter of fact a lot of times i just make it with uh with the vegetables i bet it's still good oh it's awesome because what you're um, what you're primarily tasting is the corn, uh, the taco seasoning, and uh, the black beans. Well, it sure does look. Um, and believe it or not, this is done. I do need to do one more thing here while it's on low, because. We want it to tighten up. I've been wondering about that. So that we can use it in a filling. Yes. Cornstarch. Okay. Cornstarch. That's I was gonna ask, will it stay together? Okay, so yes. See that's that chefy stuff he does right there. And water. Okay, that's what I needed to near. Cold water. Got to be cold. You I not want it. Heard that. it immediately we reacts and gets thick, and then it'll it'll never mix in. But cold water is like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now put this back on the heat. 
Let's make sure. He was on. Nope, it's not. Y'all, he has more little cooking apparatuses. If he didn't have Narnia, it would take him over. Okay, so you get it, get it boiling. All right, and then this will immediately thicken up. Now, see how it's piling now? That's because it's sticky, and that's what you want. Yes. Yes. And that. How it's able, to, how you're able to roll it. Thank you, Marty. Well, yeah, now I see it. And that looks okay. just like it. Thank you for that, for, for thickening that up. Because I've made things that needed thickened, and I wasn't sure what to do. Now I do. Yeah, that, well, that was one of the things that uh, I had to work out on my own. Okay, so we have everything in here, but it won't stay together so that we can roll it. Yes. Well, the cornstarch. Cornstarch makes it stay together. And it won't change the flavor. Nope. Okay, so this needs to uh, go away and cool a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to do the, um, uh, to do the, uh, the tortillas, okay? Back to the side. I don't need this right now, but I am going to need it again. And I'm going to move a bunch of this stuff out of the way while you tell them about Food Talk. All right. This is Food Talk TV. Um, TikTok version style. Follow us up in the upper left-hand corner. And this is Cooking with Kaz. Um one of us creators, there are like, I don't even know, 10 to 12 of us. And we take turns going live. And some are out sickly right now. But uh, we'll all be back together soon. And we go live on here and cook something every day. If you hit the bell, you'll get notified. We also have foodtalktv.com. It's the best website. And it will fill you in on everything you need to know. It's set up beautifully where it's easy to follow. You can get recipes like this one. Uh, it'll be on there in a day or two. And so will this live. It will be live on um, YouTube. And we're on all social medias, Pinterest, um, Instagram, Facebook, all the medias. Not Tinder, but we're on, we're on everything else. And uh, we want you to please follow us and... Um, share this live and get some people up in here uh, we only have three in from share so far and I would like to see yeah y'all share I shared it 15 times 15 I'm, uh, hunt, I'm hunting my friends down right now y'all do it do it Okay, thank you. I sent 15 more. So. All right, so what are you making now? Okay, so we're getting ready to, to do the tortillas. Uh, do the tortillas for the, um, which are the egg roll part of the Southwest egg rolls. Hey, by the way, guys, if you're just coming in, we are making chili Southwest egg rolls. Yes, mm -hmm. we have somebody in the comments telling everybody, it says, what are we cooking? Thanks, okay. Marty, for doing that. Thanks, Marty. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. Is that four? Yeah, four. We'll do five, maybe. Okay. As a matter of fact, let's just do this. Okay, so we are going to soften these up. Since there's only six in there and I wanted to do five, I'm just going to throw these in the microwave. It works. Now, Sketchy Chef says that that's just lazy. But. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
She, ex- yeah, well, you know, hey, <laughs> hey, I'm lazy too, but she doesn't wash her rice, so she needs to hush. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't wash mine either, so <laughs> sorry, sorry, y'all. Call the rice police. <laughs> Call the rice police. Oh, I'm eating a quesadilla. I am sorry. I'm off camera for so much right now. Me too, Becky. I do have to get this stuff ready. Okay, See? what I'm doing right now is making a paste. This is what's going to seal uh, the egg rolls so that you don't have to freeze them for four hours. Listen, when you guys go go look up this recipe and go to anybody's blog, and they're going to tell you you need to freeze them for four hours. Uh, please write in the comments that they that uh, there's a better way. Buck, like, shut up, Bradley. What's Chef Bradley up to in there? He said you got to wash your rice to get the bug legs out of them. <laughs> hey, that's protein, Bradley. What's wrong with you? They eat bugs on that TV show where they're all naked running through the woods. You know what? Bradley's just one of those rich guys. That's all. I guess. Man, I use I use Walmart sacks for trash bags, so you know. <laughs> okay. So Am I still here? Yeah. These are nice and soft. Now, to get uh, to get that egg roll look, they kind of have to look like egg rolls, okay? And the only way that you're going to do that is to make them look a little bit like egg roll wrappers. Hey, I'm, I'm wondering, can you hear me? I hear you fine. Oh, no, uh oh. As I'm echoing back to myself, my my phone um, rang. Oh, I got. Yeah, that. I don't. I don't hear an echo. Uh, do you want to come I out do. and come back in? Yes. Okay. Hey guys. Okay. Uh, you're saying you want uh, to wrap them. Like fried egg. Right, exactly. Exactly, yes. Right, Ellen. Because if you've ever seen a Chili's uh, uh, Southwestern egg roll, that's the way it's wrapped. That's the reason why so many people think that it's uh, done with um, with egg roll wrappers. Come on, guys. All right, let's get some people in here. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> oh hi Marty. How is everyone? Fine. Good. I was just saying that <clears throat> sorry, my throat's a little scratchy. I was just saying that I'm eating quesadillas uh with flour tortillas and I saw your tortillas there. <laughs> so I bet those egg rolls are gonna be fantastic. Well we're gonna see, aren't we? We are yes. gonna see. Where's I the camera, accidentally Marty? I accidentally Where's clicked the wrong button. <laughs> Where's your camera? We like people. We like we like people to have cameras uh, in our lives. <clears throat> okay. Let me brush my hair first. <laughs> okay. Women and their hair. Hold on. Where's the camera at? She's gone. Okay. Oh, no, I, uh, I, I am giving her time to brush her hair. That's all. Okay. All right, so. I took are... your camera at a better angle for us. I will. Mm. Yeah, yes. Okay. We get... So. So the first thing you want to do is to apply your glue. 
This is the reason why you do not have to. Um, Bradley. This is the reason why you don't have to uh, freeze them for hours or use toothpicks. This is just flour and, and water on top of flour tortillas, which are basically flour and water. So. I am learning so much right here. So you because see what the cornstarch did, makes it all stick together, right? Mm hmm But you know, the thing with like uh, burritos, you've got all that excess uh, tortilla. And I think you just taught me how not to have that problem. And I'm very happy about that. And there it is. So, so beautiful. Set that aside. Go for the next one. Yes. All you got to do is leave out the meat, Marty. And it will be a vegan version. Absolutely. Yes. Look at that beautiful, said Stephanie Everett. Now, you it notice is. I'm not just doing the edges here. I'm doing all of this because all of this is going to be wrapped. So it, you might you want it all to stick. For sure. And this, these don't take long to cook, do they? Because the inside's already cooked. So it's basically cooked. all you're doing is getting the a tortilla brown, right? That's it. Awesome. I wonder if you could do them in an air fryer. Of course you can. Well, we're, but I'm going to find out. Oops, what I, hi there, Kentucky girl. I know her real name. I'm not saying it because, you know. I don't know if she wants people knowing it. I missed the beginning. Listen, Stephanie, all you have to do is tomorrow or the next day, go to YouTube and you can watch this whole live again. Food Talk TV, just like in the upper left hand corner. And if you need the recipe, go to foodtalktv.com where you'll also find out how you can uh, go against Sketchy Chef to cook. And uh, live on TV, it's the only live cooking competition on food talk. I mean, TikTok. So, uh, hi, I still want to call him Deacon C. Hi, TJ. Um, so you can go watch this whole thing and, and learn the whole process to make the chili Southwest egg roll on YouTube. Watch Kaz cook them or get the recipe. All right, sorry, Ellen, I hate you're sick. All right, so oh. Kentucky Girl's in here, Kaz. Okay. Hey, anybody, uh, why don't you recap what we've done so far? All right, well, he cut up bell peppers, and I think you put a green one in, did you? Yes. Yeah, just for a little color. Just, just for a little. A little. And he put black beans and diced up chicken breast, and uh, he made his own, own sauce. Black, did I say black beans? All the stuff that goes in the egg rolls. Then he made his a an avocado sauce. He made mixed up his own spices, which if you miss that, uh, you can watch it on. But it'll be in the recipes too, probably. But yes. um, but this and that will, was uh, that was for my taco sauce. Yes, and then he oh, also taco seasoning. I'm sorry, seasoning. And then he made an avocado sauce, and then he fried the meat, and he put a a thickener of uh, cornstarch and water. And now he's got he's got all that cooked. He cut off the corners the to, so it wouldn't be round. It would be a square, and it would roll pretty. And as you can see, it's working. But what he's doing, yeah, Kaz is showing off. You're right, Rocha's Kitchen. He is showing off, and he made a flour paste, and he's going around that and putting that in, rolling them up. And then he's gonna fry them for us. I'm so excited! Yeah. And uh, the chili so, Southwest egg rolls. Chili Southwest egg rolls. And um, I think Junk Food Junkie said hello. Hello. And Ellen has a bad sore throat. People are just getting sick. Recap what he ha hasn't done yet. Like he didn't find the jalapeno, said Chef Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
All right. So I think our audience is learning from you, and that's a bad thing. Okay. <laughs> I, I was all, I was almost nice to you once today, Kaz. So you almost. quit crying. I was almost <laughs> nice to you. I almost bragged on him, y'all, right in front of him. You don't ever do that. He takes it for a sign of weakness. <laughs> he does, and then he's just like a predator. He's just like right there. What else did I do good? You know, you just can't. Any legumes? Yes, black beans. Black beans are in there. Now, Sketchy would say it was lazy if you used canned black beans. Just make your own. <laughs> yes. But he used canned ones, and I'm going to say that's okay. Okay, thank at you. The, at the risk of being nice to him again. And corn. Oh, yeah, Becky, thank you. He also put corn in it. Yes, yes, he did. And I did uh, not grow my own corn. Yes, he's lazy. He got that out of a can, too. He didn't go out and farm <laughs> in his backyard. Oh, Lord, don't do that, Emma. His hat won't fit. I know. I know. <laughs> Makes Philly steak rolls. Oh, Brian said that Dan makes Philly steak rolls like this. Oh, hey, Brian. Don't you think that would be awesome? Yes. I do. Yeah, Sketchy said, everyone's lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks for noticing. Uh, so, uh, this will be good. Ooh, I, I want to see uh, Dan's uh, steak rolls. Yes, so do I. He probably has a video, but I'm too busy oh, yeah. getting tips on how to organize my house. There's one uh, bedroom closet I think I'm going to have to fly him out here for because I just don't eat. When I open it, I feel so overwhelmed that I just shut the door and throw something else in there before I do. And then it just all falls out on me when it, yeah. You know. Okay, so I've run out of tortillas, but I still have stuffing. Uh, so that's probably going to go. I'm probably just going to eat that straight up later. Hey, could you not uh, freeze that? Yep, and, yeah, and then get know, it out. It's cooked, it's seasoned, and you can eat it with a spoon. So um, it probably it will not make it to the freezer. But so. what I want to know is, could it? Would would the uh, peppers break down under the and be mushy under the freezing process? Or could you freeze it? Or uh, you yes. Yes, you can freeze it. You can freeze it. Okay. You can freeze it. And uh, as far the peppers were cooked, so they're going to be mushy anyway. I do. I don't know who Fibber McGee is, but I do have a Fibber McGee closet. I do. Make a casserole using your scrap tortillas. Oh, that's a good idea because there are Mexican casseroles that require or, or ask for or dumplings. I've used uh, corn. I mean, flour tortillas to make chicken and dumplings. I have. Okay. They're good. I don't care what you oil. I've shown you guys how to recycle the oil. I've used. I've used this oil quite a few times. You can see there's nothing in the bottom. It's clear as day. I use coffee filters. I saw that 10-minute one, so I did the same thing yesterday. Did you? I did. and I Well, what I use is I have a little bitty strainer about this big, and I yeah. have a funnel that it sits right down in, and then you know I what? just cut out a little piece of the um, filter, coffee filter, and put in there and went right straight into the bottle. Yes. Not while it's hot, y'all. Don't do it when it's hot. Do not do it when it's hot. <clears throat> yes. Hi, humble kitchen. My humble kitchen. Hey guys. I just I'm waiting for the oil to heat up, so I wanted to say hi. What is there? Uh 81 people in here. You guys give us a follow. Give us a follow. Uh, we go live every single day. Uh, many times we go uh, twice a day. And uh, Miss Sherry down here, right down here, 
Uh, she goes live uh, every other Sunday, and uh, she goes live on her own channel too. So please, please, please give us a, give uh, give her a follow. Give us a follow if you're just scrolling through. We're doing that. We're making big, big leaps here uh, through Talk TV. As a matter of fact, we've just been granted one of the uh, biggest privileges at TikTok. Uh, it's called a stream key. And it would take too much for you guys to, uh, for me to, to uh, explain it here. But maybe there's somebody in the comments who knows. Uh, look it up. Why do you want a stream key? Uh, it basically, without going into technical details, it means that um, we can do we can do television studio quality work here on through Talk TV. We can we can have cameras set up here, set up there, set up there, and we can all put it on on the screen for you. Uh, we just got that today. Just got. Whoa! That today. All yeah. right. Yeah. So there's, I better set up my portal. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I don't even know. Um, I don't even know any of the uh, uh, food creators who have millions of viewers who have who've been granted a stream key by TikTok. So, so, so there's big things coming here. Big things coming. All we got to do I'll is figure so out how to use them. Right. All we have to do is figure out how to use them. <laughs> is your oil moving? Is it moving? It looks like it's dancing. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. There. Is, it is it dancing? Yeah, it still oh, looks oh. like it is. Stick a, yeah. stick a piece of wood in it, like a matchstick. Not the wrong end, the other end. Something that'll... <laughs> A toothpick it'll kind of look like it's cooking the toothpick if it's ready Ooh, yeah that's ready matter of fact probably take, need to turn it down okay oh these are gonna be so good do you have your rack to put them on uh no these are actually just gonna go uh onto i just want you to see you guys to see that this tortilla has, has not unwrapped at all. There, okay. there. Sure enough. Uh, uh, Chef Bradley said if you'd stick your finger in it, then you'd know if it's ready. You know, who is it? Um, Carlos, number cheddar. up. He says he can smell when, when oil is 350. You, know, you know what? I, 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 I believe it. Yeah, yeah. And I can smell of spices and know what I need to cook with it. So sometimes if I get a new spice, I'll open it up, smell of it, and say, oh, we're having pork chops tonight. You know? <laughs> I know that's weird. Those are bigger than I thought they were. They look smaller with the big Kaz hands. Either that or that's a really small skillet. So I don't know. Yeah, my humble kitchen said I can smell and know when the food is done. Yeah, me too. Wow. Unless I have 9,000 things cooking at once, which when I do a live, you can ask Kaz, I have 20 things going on. Yeah. I like the one on the far right. Now that may not be for that one. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that color. Of course, his may look a different color than what I'm seeing. That's true. But no, I think you, I, from my camera, from what I see, you're pretty close. Yeah, it's darker. I like crunchy. Can you make them in an air fryer? He already answered that. Everything's already cooked. Shell bean. And um, yes, you. Well, I'm going to try it. Yes, I am. Yes, because all you're looking for is to brown the uh, the wrappers. <laughs> I'm doing great. I need to learn my humble kitchen's real name uh, so I don't just say, I'm great, my humble kitchen. 
Because <laughs> sometimes it feels weird. Um, but I'm doing great. And Bradley said he knows fish is done when it quits jumping out of the pan. Elmer. <laughs> that was my dad's name. My dad was Elmer Dwayne. For real. Okay, let's see. If you make them in the air fryer, spritz some olive oil on the wraps. That's a great idea. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so these are done. Remember, all you're looking for is color on these. Right. Oh, you did do six then. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> planning on it. But I had more uh, more filling, so why not? Right? Right. What temp do you think you would cook them in an air fryer? 350? You're only looking to get them brown. So if you put it at 400, the faster you get it brown, uh, the faster it'll cook. Because you're not trying to cook anything on the inside. 350 is fine. 300 would take you a long time. Uh, but that's really the only thing you're looking for is to get a brown. Right. Okay. Well, uh, Sketchy said there'll be three for you and three for Bella. Okay. That's his dog, y'all. Bella probably thinks there's going to be five for Bella and one for me. But... <laughs> Uh, oh, nice. Well, I'm glad you showed that, uh, how to seal them. That's very helpful. That's just so ridiculous. When I when I uh, was watching, or not watching, but uh, seeing these recipes, I said, oh, yeah, you have to freeze them. Otherwise, they'll come apart. I'm like, uh, okay. No, not waiting for four hours for egg rolls. Well, Chef Bradley said he'd just use his torch to brown them then. There you go. I want to see might... that show. Yeah, I want to see that show too. Uh... He needs to come on uh, come on Sunday just to show that. Yes, for sure. <clears throat> Those really look very nice. Without that cut, we got to do the cut, right? Oh, I do have a George Foreman grill. Uh, Junk Food Junkie said you can also do them on a George Foreman grill. Huh. How, I wonder how that's going to, how that will work. Doesn't that's, George Foreman grill just flatten them out? I don't know. When I, I have an air fryer and I have a George Foreman grill. I may try them both at the same time. Especially if I've got company, that way the kids won't eat if they won't care if they're flat. They'll eat them. They're like Mikey. They'll eat anything. Is that not hot when you pick it up? No, it's not. Not there. Oh, okay. not on that side. This is where the um, and the only thing that actually gets hot is the uh, cooking grates. Okay, now Sketchy's giving us some advice. Um, corn, uh, flour tortillas are, um, well, they're the best in oil if you fry them in oil. Yes, I was just going to say that, uh, uh, whoever said in the comments about, uh, uh, spritzing some oil on, on it in the air fryer, that actually makes sense. Yes, yes. Um, well, but you know, some people are trying to cut down on fats. Some are trying to cut down on carbs. Some are trying to cut down different things, you know. And so it, this would be like a do you boo. If you want to fry them, do it. And if you want to air fry them, do that. They'll bake them, put them in a George Foreman grill. I feel like they're all legit. I'd try them all. Hey, y'all, 
follow us. Please follow us. Food Talk TV, upper left-hand corner. Tap the screen. Kaz is going to have his feelings hard if he gets out of here under. Uh, well, we'll go 15 for now. He'd twerk at 50, but I doubt we're going to get there that quick. He's pulling out all the goodness. <laughs> I have to do him that way. You guys, you guys, uh, give me some chilies. I always um, put a little gold <laughs> up on the screen. I don't know. Maybe it's it could be already gone. But can you uh, can you guys go in the comment and send me some chilies? Yeah, chilies. You know those little chilies. No, not lettuce. Come on, let's do chilies. <laughs> no, he had already put that before. <laughs> there we go. Look at there. Are we getting some chilies? Yeah, we've got some from Sketchy and Junk Food Junkie and Mari Poo and Shell Bean. Oh, and... Thank you guys. Yes. Uh, look at y'all. And that's easier than tapping. See? All right. Okay. Y'all, this is going to be so good. Kaz made that. Uh, I just want to call it a crema. That uh, avocado dip over there. What's that in the left bowl? Salsa. Just salsa. Okay. So you've got two choices. Whatever you want to dip it in. Here we go with some more chilies. Thank you, Ellen and Marty and Uncle Kitchen. And all the people. Ellen. All right. I haven't seen any. I want to watch this food. Watch the angle. Yes, we got it. You have to do, it's not the chili Southwest egg rolls unless it's cut at that 45 degree angle. Well, now I don't like measuring things, so I just have to, you know. <laughs> and it does look like it. It sure does. And it's steaming. Oh, eat it then. Take a bite. Do it okay. right now. Right. I know you want me to. I, I knew that was coming. Oh, let's do it. This is so good. Don't you know it is? It doesn't even need any of this stuff. Yeah, but I want to know if you had a spoon, you could just put a little dollop of that avocado and tell me how good it is because I'm dying well, to know. Okay, so one of the good things about living alone right. is, is I can double dip. Oh, well. Mm. Avocado, sour cream, lime juice. Yes. Little tiny bit of water to liquid, liquefy it. And it is awesome. <sighs> and I know okay. how salsa tastes, so we don't have to go there. <laughs> it's Oh my gosh, this this is so good. Okay, let's finish these up. Mm. After I get this down my throat. Y'all, that just looks way too good. And hear how crunchy they are? I could hear that. Did Kaz put some sea salt in the avocado sauce? I don't think so. I didn't see him do that. No. I do not. All right. So what you need is a little white, or even just like that, cut up some more, prop them up there and get a good picture before you uh, eat, it, eat eat them again. Yeah. Yeah. Just pile them all around that other bowl. Yeah. Look at him. He's looking like a chef today. I don't know. He's, he's on a tear. I don't know what we're going to do with him acting all chefy and stuff today. What you need to do is bring those to me, said Bradley. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what we need to do. I could care less about guacamole. Now that's it's an avocado dip. So uh crunchy, yes. That one don't want to Ooh, looks so good. Boy, it's looking like a party up in that joint. I wonder how long those would stay good sitting on that table. Because I think five hours is about how long it'd take me to get there. 
<laughs> and the last one. Okay, so you guys have been watching Party of Two. I appreciate you coming. I appreciate Sherry being here with me. Well, it was nice, really nice, because I've learned some stuff, and that's just going to be so good. <laughs> I'll make them for my son to take home for dinner. Want to get a screenshot? Hi, Jojo. Oh, thank, thank you for you. the hard hands. Appreciate the gift. All right, move it over just a little bit the other way and and get it still, and I'll take a screenshot. You're coming in too close. I'm wanting words out of it. And then move it over, 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 over. There and now down. Just get get it in the out of the writing. Back up. And down. Wait, wait. I'm, I, you know I want what? a good screenshot. I want to do it. Let me do it so I can actually see the um see the picture. Yes. Okay. Walmart after work for supplies. Yeah, everybody's wanting to make these now. You have these are so, they're so easy. You have fired up. Oh, now that's a beautiful shot. Now, yeah, you know how to back it up out of the writing. And I will take a screenshot. There we go. I would look at it, but I really can't right at this juncture. Hi, Ellen. Hey, Humble Kitchen. Hi, Gina. Now. Yeah, y'all go back to uh, YouTube in a couple. <gasps> go back to YouTube in a couple of day in a day or so. And you would, I would add some Spanish rice. Mm -hmm. But that would be good too. Uh, but y'all can go back on. Uh, YouTube and watch this whole live and see how he made these and the sauces and how he thickened it up and how he cut his tortillas. I'm telling y'all. Mm. This is so easy, guys. So easy. All right. Okay, you guys. Um, you've been watching Party of Two. My name is Kaz. This is Sherry Skinner. Please follow her. Please follow Food Talk TV. Uh, also, go to uh, our website, foodtalktv.com. This recipe will be up, along with uh, a couple of the tricks on how not to have to freeze them for four hours. Um, thank you, Junk Food Junkie. I appreciate it. Oh, Sketchy Chef is in the house. Hey. She's been here. <laughs> is Chef Tim in there? Chef Tim Clowers. Is Chef Tim Clowers in there? Hey, Tim. He said those look good. Wow. Okay. So, again, there's big, big things. Hey, Chef. Um, uh, coming to Food Talk TV. Uh, TikTok has, has given us uh, the ultimate in streaming privileges. So, all we have to do is learn how to use them. Okay. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Kaz. And thank you, everybody. We love you all. Find and this on YouTube. Go find this and rewatch it if you want to know how to make these. And go to foodtalktv.com. The recipe will be there. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.